I live in the American Gardens building on West 81st Street, on the 11th floor. My name is Patrick Bateman. I'm 27 years old. I believe in taking care of myself, in a balanced diet, and a rigorous exercise routine. In the morning, if my face is a little puffy, I'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches. I can do a thousand now. After I remove the ice pack, I use a deep pore cleanser lotion. In the shower, I use a water-activated gel cleanser, then a honey almond body scrub, and on the face, an exfoliating gel scrub. Then I apply an herb mint facial mask, which I leave on for 10 minutes while I prepare the rest of my routine. I always use an aftershave lotion with little or no alcohol because alcohol dries your face out and makes you look older. Then moisturizer, then an anti-aging eye balm followed by a final moisturizing protective lotion. There is an idea of a Patrick Bateman, some kind of abstraction, but there is no real me, only an entity, something illusory. And though I can hide my cold gaze, and you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, and maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable. I simply am not there. You like Huey Lewis in the news? Uh, they're okay. Their early work was a little too new wave for my taste. But when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. He's been compared to Elvis Costello, but I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. Hey, Albert Strim. Yes, Alan? Why are there copies of the style section all over the place? Do you, do you have a dog, a little chow or something? <laughs> no, Alan. Is that a raincoat? Yes, it is. In 87, Huey released this. Four, their most accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is Hip to Be Square. A song so catchy, most people probably don't listen to the lyrics, but they should, because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends, it's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! Genesis fan ever since the release of their 1980 album, Duke. Before that, I really didn't understand any of their work. It was too artsy, too intellectual. It was on Duke where uh, Phil Collins' presence became more apparent. I think Invisible Touch is the group's undisputed masterpiece. Thank <laughs> you.
It's an epic meditation on intangibility. At the same time, it deepens and enriches the meaning of the preceding three albums. Christy, take off the robe. Listen to the brilliant ensemble playing of Banks, Collins, and Rutherford. You can practically hear every nuance of every instrument. Sabrina, remove your dress. In terms of lyrical craftsmanship, sheer songwriting, this album hits a new peak of professionalism. Sabrina, why don't you uh, dance a little? Take the lyrics to Land of Confusion. In this song, Phil Collins addresses the problems of abusive political authority. In Too Deep is the most moving pop song of the 1980s about monogamy and commitment. The song is extremely uplifting. Their lyrics are as positive and affirmative as uh, anything I've heard him rock. Christy, get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your ass. Phil Collins' solo career seems to be more commercial and therefore more satisfying in a narrower way. Especially songs like In the Air Tonight and uh, Against All Odds. Sabrina, don't just stare at it, eat it. But I also think that Phil Collins works best within the confines of the group than as a solo artist. And I stress the word, artist. This is Susudio, a great, great song. Personal favorite. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh my God, what are you doing? Stop that!